It has been a tough few years for healthcare workers, and behind the burnout, there is COVID, staffing shortages, and often discrimination from patients and visitors. A new study puts numbers to those stories and shows how female physicians and doctors of color get it the worst. Doctors are burned out. <sighs> Yes. Uh, I can't tell you how many people I know personally who have left the profession in the last two years. Dr. Camilla Sasson is an ER physician. Dr. Cleveland Piggott practices family medicine and teaches. Dealing with the pandemic, both from COVID to also dealing with the pandemics of racism and health disparities and how that affects me and my colleagues as people of color has been really overwhelming. A new study published by the chief well-being officer at CU School of Medicine found what happens to doctors at work is not helping. Among the 6,500 physicians polled around the country, nearly 30% said patients or patient visitors have made racially or ethnically offensive remarks to the doctors. It happened most often to female doctors and doctors of color. One in five physicians said a patient or family refused their care due to how the physician looked. And 30% of female physicians reported unwanted sexual advances from patients or visitors. Literally, a patient say, I don't believe what you're telling me. And I'm going to go find a doctor online who actually knows what they're talking about. When a student uh, who's trying to do their best and are so bright eyed and are just trying to be there for a patient and the patient kicks them out just because of the color of their skin. And they tell me that no one on their team stood up for them. Breaks my heart. Dr. Lottie Derby hopes her burnout study will lead to solutions. It really points to, okay, we need, you know, organizational approaches to help reduce the frequency, at least, of these uh, things happening to our doctors and our care team members. And then we need to figure out how better to support people, you know, when these, uh, when these behaviors do occur. If we don't do something now to change the actual environment in which we practice, we're going to see a very different healthcare situation evolve in the next couple of years where it's going to be really challenging to find people who want to work. Dr. Pickett's also the vice chair of diversity, equity, and inclusion for family medicine at CU School of Medicine. And he shared with me how doctors, you know, they're taught to build up their resiliency. That is an important tool to have. But like in cases like this, yoga and office pizza parties, you know, those are only going to go so far. That's not going to assist with trying to work through discrimination issues. So, you know, an ongoing conversation, but that alone, yoga is not the answer here. Yeah, no, definitely an important <laughs> one. When we talk about where COVID is going right now, you know, in these mm -hmm. medium and high levels, the, this battle is not over and there's still so much stress left for these doctors yep. to deal with. They're only going to get busier. Mm -hmm. All right, Jenny, thank you.